Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, it's my favorite event at the Canfield Fair, the Demolition Derby. And I prepare sausage stuffed zucchini. It is easy and delicious. But first, let's head down to Lisbon and check in with Renny. One of the most beautiful and stunning environments to enjoy great food is right here in Lisbon, Ohio at the Courthouse Inn and Restaurant. And soon, Spa, which will be opening up. Rennie Lewis and her husband Michael are the owner and proprietors. And a few years ago when you first opened, you know, we had to come down and feature this gorgeous place. And now, I mean, it is just full steam ahead. Thank you. You have just transformed what the oldest brick building in Ohio Ohio. and vegetarian comfort food because that is what you enjoy. Yes. And when you're in, because she spends half her time between New York and uh, Lisbon, you have really pulled this together. Thank you. It wasn't easy. Coming <laughs> from, you know, a jewelry design background, yeah. this definitely wasn't your forte. How did you finally get all of the elements together to have such a delicious, inviting, I mean, everything now is in place? Yes, it's, it's exactly where I want it to be, finally. It's taken two and a half years. But that's the short term. It took 11 years to restore the building, so the two and a half years it's taken to get the restaurant to this point is um, amazing in retrospect that it took that small of amount of time. But I have to say that the most difficult part of it is uh, finding talent. Um, you know, I can restore a building and I love it and it's fun and you know, that is the easy part, finding talent. And, you know, they have to share your vision and your passion for, you know, delicious food because you use locally sourced ingredients. This menu is incredible, and I love the way, you know, you have the seasonal changes. We change the menu uh, every couple of weeks because whatever comes in season is what we're going to feature. And, of course, now we're in season. So it's exciting because this week I was shucking peas, and, you know, we had fresh peas, and strawberries are over. Blueberries just began and red raspberries just began and, you know, corn is here and it's coming and, you know, cucumbers are here. There's just so much locally. And then during the winter, we have a lot of local purveyors that have greenhouses and they do hydroponic foods and uh, we're able to access that. Lots of fresh herbs, lots of fresh lettuces, kale, vegetables, you know, we can still get in the winter. but. I have to say that is the easy part. It it also goes into your desserts. I mean, you are very finicky and you are very particular about the ingredients used in your cakes and pies. Everything has to be butter. All our eggs are from hens that actually have a life. They're not just what you call free range. They're hens that actually fly, forage for their food. They eat the things that they're supposed to eat. So everything we do use is natural. It's not vegan, although we do have vegan options, but we do use cheeses. We use European cheeses because it's a higher quality of of, uh, fat and it's a higher quality of product. What is your favorite part of being a restaurateur? Going to the farms and getting the food, dealing with the farmers, talking to them, getting them to grow certain things for me that I want, purple potatoes, purple carrots, um, purple, I mean, colorful vegetables, and seeing how, I mean, knowing it was just picked this morning, and seeing how happy the farmers are, that like, I'm gleeful to go there. And they're so happy that you're so excited about what they just have grown. Exactly, and it's so much fun. I go to usually four farms a day, and most of the farmers are Mennonites, and you know, we have great conversations about their life and my life, and 
you know, it's just a wonderful day. It's a wonderful morning. After breakfast, I go, and uh, that's my favorite part, getting the food, sourcing the food. It's beautiful. It's fun. And is the customer always right? Are they always right? Or do you sometimes think, you know, you need to educate them? Oh, I always need to educate them. Yes, they, you know, they're seldom right, frankly. You know, they, they really, um, there's a misconception. I can't tell you how many people come here and say, this is a vegan restaurant. And I'm like, no, it's a vegetarian restaurant. What's the difference? Well, right there, they don't know the difference between vegetarian and vegan, and vegan means you have no dairy or nothing. Yes. Nothing that is given of the animal, whether it's freely or not freely. Whereas vegetarian, we're going to eat cheese, we're going to eat butter, we're going to eat milk. You know, we're just not going to kill to get our food. So just that, when you realize that they don't know the difference between vegan and vegetarian, there's the learning curve. So, you know, it's fun to try and educate them. It's, it's, it's good, you know, it's all good at the end of the meal when they say it was fabulous. That's when it's good. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Summer means magic tree. Look at this patio. This is one of my favorite places to be on a summer night. Casey, we have all the things going on here at the magic tree on our beautiful patio. We have the Saturday summer music series, not to mention all the other goodies like our seasonal menu. Absolutely. Oh, That's our can of chips, our cedar plank salmon, and this is our Casey and the Sunshine Salad. How you like that? And <laughs> then our gosh, seasonal drinks. That's wow. our mermaid water, and it ain't no water, by the way. Oh. And this is our fresh blueberry mule. Oh, that is beautiful. And I'm telling you, what is your slogan? Come to the Magic Tree to eat, drink, and celebrate. And I say repeat. Summertime is here, the living is easy. Get to the Magic Tree. Cheers. Cheers. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Mayflower Wilm is your full service independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm. Close by with three locations to serve you. Here at the Upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the Upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. Shop Ruli Brothers, home of the famous Evening Express. I am blessed with a wonderful husband. He stuck with me through thick and thin, and he's a fantastic father. So when he needed long-term care, not just any place would do, we did our research. Everyone said, trust the name you know. Briarfield. With all those locations, there's always one close. That made it easy for me and the kids to visit more often Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield. Proudly serving the valley for over 20 years. Well, it is that time of year when the zucchini appears. I don't know why so many of my friends, family, neighbors all grow so many zucchini, but I have gotten a ton of them. 
and you're trying to figure out what the heck am I gonna do with this stuff? I made lasagna, I made zucchini bread, and after a while you just get so sick of zucchini. You really do. The other day, I swear I had one, it was gigundous, huge. And it was so big, I couldn't even fit it in the baking dish. I had to use a cookie sheet and I stuffed it with a sausage stuffing. And the normal large size ones are much easier to handle. So what I'm gonna do today is make sausage stuffed zucchini. It's delicious, this is a great little vehicle, and it's a good way to use up all the vegetables and the herbs and the things that you have been growing in your garden. It is perfect to make for this time of year. For this recipe, you'll need one extra large or two large zucchinis, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one large onion chopped, one green, red, or yellow bell pepper chopped, five cloves of fresh garlic minced, one pound of Italian hot sausage bulk, two tablespoons of fresh Italian flat leaf parsley chopped, two tablespoons of fresh oregano chopped, and two tablespoons of fresh basil chopped. You'll also need salt and pepper to taste, one half cup of Parmesan cheese, one half cup of Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, and one half cup of fresh mozzarella shredded. I've prepared the zucchini, I had yellow and green, and I removed the ends, and I scooped out the middle part. Now, this had a lot of seeds, uh, so I discarded the seeds, but keep scraping the rest of the zucchini flesh and save that, because we're gonna throw that into the mixture. So I have this one all cut up. Use a teaspoon, and all you have to do is just make like a little boat out of it. And you can see there's not a lot of seeds in the zucchini. So you just scrape it all out and try to leave about a half inch border so you can mound everything in it and it will hold the sausage mixture. So I'll put this in the prepared pan and then I will put our zucchini guts to get ready to be cooked. And now we'll go over to the stove and get all of our ingredients ready for the sausage stuffing. I've heated the oil over medium high in a fairly large skillet. And now I'm going to add the peppers and the onions. And I'm gonna cook this for about three to five minutes until they soften. Well, this smells awesome. It's softened nicely. Now I'll add the garlic. Cook that for about a minute or so. All right, and now we're going to add the leftover pieces of the squash, the zucchini, from hollowing it out. And we'll get this softened nicely for about three or four minutes. Well, this has softened nicely. So now, I'm gonna dump this into this bowl and just set it aside for a few minutes. And then I am going to add, right in the same pan, the sausage. And we are gonna get this nice and browned till it is no longer pink. And I like hot sausage. Use your favorite brand, but if you are not a fan of the heat, I mean, this is a really versatile recipe. You can also use, you know, a regular, a sage, a sweet, whatever sausage you prefer. But I always say the hotter, the better. You can even throw jalapeno peppers in instead of bell. Well, the sausage is ready. It's nice and crumbled. Not a lot of fat in here, so I'm going to keep it. You can also drain it if you'd like. And now I'm gonna add all of the fresh herbs. The basil, parsley, and the oregano. And what's really nice is all of these herbs are from my garden. I really don't think it's gonna need a lot of salt because of the sausage and uh, the cheese when we add it. But I do like some fresh ground pepper. And now we are going to add our cooked vegetables back into this mixture. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this is. It's so colorful. And I'm gonna turn off the heat. And now we're going to add our seasoned breadcrumbs 
because that's a nice binder along with the cheese. And we'll just mix this really carefully. All right, now we'll go and stuff our zucchinis. All right, so just start filling up your little zucchini vessels. And you really wanna mound it on because this is really pretty much cooked. And what we're doing when we bake it is just softening up the zucchini and blending everything together. Make sure you uh, preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now optional, if you'd like, I had a bunch of tomatoes left. You can sprinkle some fresh tomato on top. Just add another level of flavor, and I love yellow. I love the gold tomatoes. And I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top, but you don't have to do this. It's only, you know, I'm trying to use up all this food in my garden. And then cover it with foil, put it in the 400 degree oven, and bake it for 30 minutes. Well, after 30 minutes at 400, I've removed the foil, and now I'm going to put some shredded mozzarella on top. And then I'm gonna throw it back in the oven for another 10 minutes to allow this to melt over top. And we'll keep it uncovered and then we'll be ready to eat. Well, Jelaine's finally decided to join. I have. Now that all the work is done. And it smells so good. She gives me all the zucchini people give her. That's right. She's like, do something with this. I don't know what to do with it. So, you were not here last week when I made a gazillion of these for Ken and I. No, no. So, you have not tasted it. No, I haven't. All right, let, let's watch in anticipation. Okay. What do you think, Mom? Mm. I like the zucchini because it's not all mushy. Mm -mm. It's a little crisp which is good. I hate yeah. those vegetables that are like cotton. You know, it's like pepper. You know, the pepper That's keeps right. it when you make your stuffed yes. peppers. I mean, it really is delicious. It and is. I mean, you can do all kinds of different variations. You can do a, a sweeter sausage. Um, you can do a You can turkey. do a, a bread stuffing too. And you could add more bread if you want. But I yes. mean, really, this is low carb, high vegetable, and it is packed with flavor. And it's really pretty easy to make. And, uh, Jelaine and I just love our rosés. Oh, and I do. A very good value right now is Chateau St. Michel out of Washington State. And uh, this is the first time they've made a rosé. And it is excellent. It's a pretty blush color. It's nice to drink American wine. Yes, it is. And it's really well made. Good value. Mm. Here's to us, none better. Cheers. It is perfect oh, it, with it's this. It's perfect. It's nice for the summer. I, I love drinking rosé all summer. That's right, all year. <laughs> That's right, man. That's right. All right, so now you know how delicious it is. Go to my website, caseymaloneshow.com and look for my sausage stuffed zucchini recipe. You will love it. Oh, okay, Jelaine does. It's so good. Cheers. Cheers. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. 
when we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. Open the Jewel Box, the Courthouse Inn, organic vegetarian comfort food, handcrafted cocktails, fine wine and beer, fresh baked cakes and pies. Recharge your senses at the Courthouse Spa. Dazzling dining, artfully prepared, locally sourced ingredients, spa services. The Courthouse Inn feels like a world away just down the road in historic Lisbon, Ohio. It's time to get real about getting engaged. Real experts you can count on. Real pricing and financing for your budget. And really one-of-a-kind engagement rings. That are unique as she is. Get real, get Kamara. Get real, get Kamara. In the Cool Creek Plaza in Canfield. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At Rooley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Rooley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. Every year, one of the most popular events at the Grandstand is the Demolition Derby. And it's really all for bragging rights. Five, six hundred dollar pot. But I'll tell you, these guys are passionate. And every year I attend, and I just love watching the Rock'em Sock'em with the cars. It's fascinating. These guys love doing it, and they work the circuit, a lot of them, and go to the different county fairs. Well, I sponsored a car this year, Todd Hardman, the number 10, and hopefully we'll see if we make it through the first round and win this thing. Well, the first demolition derby that'll take place will be the youth division. Now, I can't believe this, but the youth division is 12 to 15 year olds. And I guess since you're not on the road, you don't have to have a driver's no, license. No, no, not at all. And uh, Dylan, who is the uh, nephew of the guy driving my car, well, he is in the youth division. So this is the last year for you because you're 15 now. Yep, yep. And is this, how many times have you done the uh, youth division? First time, first year. And what made you want to enter this year? Uncle Todd told me about it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, just decided, well, you know what? I'd have a blast doing it. So we're out here and... So what kind of preparation do you have to do with this car? You know, I mean, like, tell me, you have to take all what, the glass out? All, all the glass has to come out. Most of the interior, only the front two seats stay in. Um, all the carpet, everything comes out, you know. Where did, what kind of car is, oh, this was a, a Cavalier, and where did you get it? Up in Brookfield, about and half an hour away. Can I ask how much your, uh, your ride cost? Two fifty. <laughs> Andrew Smeltzer Jr., this is the son of Andrew who I just spoke to. Now, you won this last year. Yes, I did. And um, what's the secret? Ah, there really ain't no secret. Try to survive, but uh, you got to do damage and take out other cars at the same time. Now, what is the prize when you win this? This one I think is like 600 bucks in a trophy. Well, that's pretty good. Now, you put together that car, the 18 car is the one you won in last year. 16, yeah. Or 16 car. Mm-hmm. And this is uh, number... Number one, this is a Cavalier station wagon. Why a station wagon? Ah, just this is what I come across this year, and it was pretty solid, so I'm going to run it. Well, you know, uh, you've really hit the big time when you have like a racing team. Yeah. You know, Team Malone, Todd Hartman's my driver, man. We started this a couple years ago, we sponsored it, and you did really good, you were what? I think you were like third I, or fourth. I, I won my first heat, and but I didn't do too well in the future, so. But it was positive for the first time. It was really fun, and then you said you wanted to do it again this year. Why do you want to do this? You know, it's just, 
the adrenaline rush, you know, I turned 55 and it makes you feel like you're alive, <laughs> <laughs> at least for now. And then my nephew heard about that they're having the youth. And so he was all excited. So I had yeah. to come out and support him, and we had fun together building the cars. So it, you know, it's a family thing, and it's great. I know we and we talked to Dylan earlier. Now, where did you? I mean, you once they did the cla uh, what cash for clunkers. That really took a lot of these good vehicles off the road, huh? It did. It's hard to find a vehicle. And I try to find a better vehicle, but they're few and far between, you know. And, you know, it can get expensive. And, you know, some of the big guys that do it all the time, they dump lots of money in their cars. All right, my little seatmate here, Mary Giovanna. Your first demolition derby. What do you think? I'm really excited. And I my favorite part about this is when they crash, but it's kind of dangerous. It is, but you really like some of the cartoon characters that they paint on the car. And you know what's really cute is whenever there's a Stars and Stripes car, an American car, you always cheer really well. Yeah, because I, I like to cheer for country things. Four, three, two, one. The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.